So I'm uh, Ricardo Denis, country manager for uh, the UK market, uh, Top Portugal. Okay, well, good afternoon. Thank you very good much afternoon. for taking a moment to speak to Breaking Travel News today. We're here at uh, World Travel Markets in London, the first day of the show. How would you describe the, the mood of the show this year? Uh, it's been very good, very busy, uh, as always is, but uh, I find it well organized this year, a bit more than, uh, than the last editions, and uh, the weather decided to help a little bit. <laughs> it's not as cold and grey as it usually is. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you again. Good to see you. Um, I understand it's a very exciting time for, for the airline. You've just launched uh, new flights out of London City Airport, bringing you to all three major London airports. Yes, we're very excited about that. London City has, uh, is an airport that's been on our radar for a long time now. And uh, the opportunity came with, uh, with the new aircrafts. We have the Embraer's uh, 95 uh, to start this new route. And we're very excited about it. We're offering uh, double departures from London City um, to Lisbon direct, and then onward connections to our uh, long haul destinations. And when people get to Lisbon, you've got a new lounge there, a fabulous new product. Yes, fabulous new lounge uh, just above the runway, so you can sit comfortably enjoying the Portuguese cuisine and uh, the view for the, to the runway. Yeah, and that's just newly opened. How's it been received uh, by your business class travellers? Uh, very well, very well. We were unfortunately using the, the airport lounge, which is not the same, it's not a top branded lounge. So now we're very proud of being able to offer our own lounge. And uh, the acceptance has been amazing. People love it and the feedback is great okay. so far. And something else has been very positive for the airline is the stopover program. I know you've been offering a couple of cities for, for a little while. You've expanded now to offer a few more destinations. Yes, we, we were offering since the beginning uh, the possibility of people, of our passengers, to stop over in Lisbon or Port. And now we've decided to expand that to, to Funchal, so to the Madeira, uh, the Azores and to the Algarve. So if you're now flying to, to, to Funchal with us, you can have a stopover of uh, up to three nights in uh, Lisbon or Porto. Okay. I can see we're sitting here in the new um, Airbus A330neo. Um, you're going to take delivery of uh, 14 of these planes next year. Yes. What will that add to the airline? Sorry? What will that add to the airline? Yes, we're very excited about this as well. We, we will be the first airline to, to have the, the 330neo which is a top-of-the-art aircraft, uh, very um, efficiency, efficient when it comes to fuel consumption, but also it, it uh, adds um, comfort to the travel uh, for all the passengers, whether it's business or, or uh, economy. And to the airline, obviously, it brings uh, a modern fleet um, to, to, to our fleet, um, a new aircrafts to our fleet, and uh, that is the plan that we have to, to improve the fleet in the next uh, years to come. Okay. And you're building on a very successful period already. You recognize as Europe's leading airline to Africa and Europe's leading airline to South America for the World Travel Awards. How does that feel? Yes, that was very good as well. Uh, we're very proud of that. Those are very important awards for us and it's good to be recognized uh, for the work that we've been doing and the investments that we've been making on those routes. Okay. Let me be the first to congratulate you and I appreciate you talking to me today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.